eImmigration is a cloud-based client and case management software. This means you have a powerful software where you can store all your client's info, their case info, their forms, and much more. And because it is cloud-based, the software can be accessed from any computer, any tablet, or any smartphone. It doesn't matter if you are in your office or elsewhere. As long as you have internet access, you can access your account. What you see here is what we call the caseworker portal. This is the area you will use on a day-to-day -day basis. Things you can do here is create and update client profiles, send questionnaires to clients, build cases, work on forms, and much more. Let us first look at a client profile, the info you can input in these profiles, and tools to help you with client management. We are now inside a client profile. From here, you can now view and edit multiple sections of the profile, which are divided into the right-hand tabs. To edit an area, simply click on the section you'd like to view, select the box, and type out the information. Click Save and you have updated the client profile. The importance of establishing a client profile is multifaceted. The main function you will use this info to transfer onto forms, avoiding you having to retype the same info over and over again. Doesn't matter if you're working on one form or 10. But besides form functionality, by having client profiles created, you can generate reports with specific info with our optional module titled Custom Reports. This means I can create reports with specific criteria like show me all clients who were born in India, show me all clients who live in Los Angeles, and so forth. Also, a great benefit of having these client profiles is you can easily start a case at any point, either now or years down the road. There is no need to recreate these client profiles. Besides the general info, the sections we have here are biographic info, current addresses, the history of the client which we have divided into previous addresses, previous marriages, previous employments, education, and abroad trips. You can link family members here which will not only help in auto-populating forms, but will also help if that member becomes your client in the future. And lastly, you can enter background information that is asked on the forms. Now, besides adding standard fields on the client profiles, you also have the ability to create custom fields. Custom fields are created in something we call the Administrative Tools page. The Admin Tools page comes standard with all our plans. Think of it as the settings of your caseworker portal where you can customize many things. Now, we won't go into detail of everything you can customize, but as we go along showing you the software, we will reference things that you can customize in the Admin Tools page. Custom fields is one of those things you can create in the Admin Tools page where you can create a field to store any important information that is not already asked on the standard fields. Besides adding info in these client profiles, the client profile serves to help with other client management tools. One of those client management tools is logs. The logs is an area where the system creates logs anytime an action has taken place with the client profile. But besides system messages, this is a great area where you can enter either client-specific notes for your reference or to let other staff members know important details. Another important feature in client profiles is reminders. When setting up a reminder, you can email yourself the reminder on a specific day and time. Additionally, if you have the SMS notifications optional module, you can send yourself a text notification as well. Also, this reminder will show on your tickler. The tickler is a dashboard that shows you all reminders, your expiring documents, and also helps track other important things like RFE and so forth. This tickler system will alert you days in advance so that you don't miss on important days. Besides adding reminders, you can add documents specific to the client which are divided into passport, I-94s, visas, user-defined documents which are customizable in the admin tools page, and other. You'll also have a folder where you can see any questionnaire or form that has been sent to a client. And although these folders come standard, have the ability to create new document folders to better organize your documents. When inputting information such as passport info, the info will transfer to forms, the expiration will be tracked on the tickler, and lastly, you can even upload an image file of the document. When uploading, you can upload it directly onto eImmigration or use our optional module cloud storage to integrate a storage site such as Dropbox or Google Drive. Now what we just saw was profiles for individual clients, but what about employer profiles? Once inside the profile, in similar fashion, everything is divided into right-hand tabs asking for business-specific info. You can enter general info such as tax ID numbers, you can enter addresses, create custom fields specific to the business profile, create branches that can be selected when creating a case, 
link members such as Signatory who will appear when creating a case, create reminders, and upload documents specific to the employer. Now, what we just saw is you manually inserting information for your clients, whether it be an individual or an employer. But what if you want your clients to supply their own info? With all our plans, we include questionnaires that cover the entire profile. Additionally, included in all our plans is the ability to create your own intake forms in which you can ask exact questions you like and link those questions to sections of the client profile. You can then send either our standard questionnaires or your own custom intake forms for your client to fill out. And your clients will log into a client portal to fill those out and submit to you. This client portal is standard with all our plans and is specific to your account, meaning only your clients can access the client portal. Once your client is logged in, they will see items in their mailbox. They will select the questionnaire or intake form and proceed to answer. If they prefer standard questionnaires in a different language, they have the option of selecting a different one here. Additionally, you can translate intake forms in another language, and your clients will also have the option of answering those intake forms in a different language. Once they are finished, they will submit the questionnaire or intake form to you for you to review. As a side note, if you don't want to have your clients log into a client portal, you have the option of sending an intake form in a passwordless link allowing them to go straight into the intake form and proceed to submit their information. Once they complete the questionnaire and submit it, it will appear in your mailbox for you to review, and once accepted, it generates or updates the individual client profile. If sending questionnaires to an employer, in similar fashion, they will complete it, submit it, and once accepted, it will either create a new business client profile or update one that already exists. A couple more things your client can do in the client portal. They can upload documents here. Once uploaded here, it will go into their client profile. They can view logs that you may want to share. If you have the optional module messaging, they can send messages to you and vice versa. If you do billing with our software, they can view invoices here. And if you have the optional module credit card processing, you can link up your PayPal or LawPay account and allow them to do credit card transactions through here. Besides those tasks, you have the option of adding more things to the client portal specific to an employer. You can give them the option to run reports, specifically the custom reports you built. The reports themselves will only have info pertaining to their employees. You can give them the ability to send questionnaires on your behalf in case they have new employees. And you can sign up with the optional module case initiation request and allow them to create cases for you. Now that we have seen how client profiles are created, how the client portal can help, let us now go into creating a case profile for our client. From the home page, we will hover over the Create button and select Cases. The Create Case wizard will appear and will answer some questions to set up the case. We will enter our department. You can have more than one location and separate cases by departments. You can have the software create a case number. You can enter a case name. And you can select the type of case you are doing in the Process section. Now, the importance of selecting a case process is once selecting it, it will gather forms for you, document checklist, as well as other settings. These case processes come default when you sign up, but keep in mind, this is another one of those things that can be customized in the admin tools page. You can either modify existing cases or create new ones. Because our software is a powerful case and client management tool, you can create cases for divorce, bankruptcy, and so forth to have them all in one central location. You will select the program type in case you've created some for reporting purposes and a category for reporting purposes and click on next. You will select the case workers assigned and move on to the next step. You will then link the clients and apply their roles. You can either do a family based case or employment based linking individual clients and employer profiles and click on next. We will now see the forms that appears with this case process and click on next. Our case profile has been established. Everything is divided into right-hand tabs, just like the client profiles, and we are brought immediately to the form section. If we access a form, we'll see the info has auto-populated from the client's profile. The more info that's on the profile, the more info transfers over. Besides info auto-populating, you still have the option to manually type onto the form. You can add a new text field with our type anywhere. You can add addendum pages at any time, which will print with the form, and you can add sticky notes for internal review. Lastly, you can use the replace tool to fill in blank areas with desired text, such as not applicable. Once you complete the form, you can save it, 
you can print it, and when exiting the form, you can even email it directly from the software to your client. You can send it as an attachment PDF or send it as an editable HTML where they can enter info onto the form via the client portal. Besides working on forms and emailing them, another feature that you can do on these forms is eFile with the optional module titled eFile. With eFile, you can electronically file forms like the DS160, DS260, ETA9089, and all USCIS forms. This means work on the form on e-immigration, schedule it to the e-filer, and from there watch the info transfer into sites like the Department of State, the USCIS, or other. The e-filer is the only thing that needs to be downloaded to a PC computer to allow the communication from e-immigration into those sites. Other useful case management tools located in the case profile is adding important dates to be monitored, shipment information, custom fields just like in the client profiles, add and take away case workers, change case parties if need be, enter logs specifically about the case, and set up reminders specific to a case that can be seen on the tickler as well as get an, e an email. On the documents tab, you can upload specific documents important to the case. You can have a document checklist already created for you when selecting the case at the moment of creation. You can add letter templates. These letter templates are created in the admin tools page. This means any email, cover letter, or other type of messages can be pre-typed and saved. You can even add tags that will auto-populate info from the client profile or case profile into these tags. And once selected in the case profile, you can decide to attach it to the body of an email or export it as a PDF or Word document to print. The Documents tab also allows you to store Visa Bulletin info as well as USCIS receipts. When entering a receipt, once entering the receipt number and saving, you can now come back and click on the link, which will take you to the USCIS site to see the status. Or if having the optional module USCIS Visa Bulletin Time Tracker, you can enter further info such as location you applied, the type of form, it will list the processing time and you can select your email to receive an email. Once doing this, the software will check the processing times table and send you an email when your client is now current according to the processing times table. If entering visa information in similar fashion, the software will check the visa bulletin and send you an email when your client becomes current. The last couple things you can do in a case is set up process steps, which lists every step to take on a case within a certain time frame, and you can assign a step to a caseworker. That person will receive an email on that morning so that you finish a case within a certain time frame. These process steps can be customized in the admin tools page. You can even create activities for each process step, which means maybe you want a log to be created when completing a task. You can easily create that default process step activity for each step. Lastly, you can do billing with our software. If using e-immigration billing, you can have default billing items to choose from at the moment of creating the invoice. Once the invoice is created, you can easily apply payments, email these invoices, create a payment plan where the software automatically emails the client, and as we saw before, the client can make payments in the client portal with the optional module credit card processing. Want to auto charge your clients each month? No problem. Set up auto payments with exact amounts on a monthly, quarterly, or annual basis. Once you've completed a case, you can use the document assembly to gather all forms, letters, and documents, and combine them into a single PDF making it easy to gather exact info that will be printed and submitted. We have now covered client management, case management, forms. Let us now focus on other things the software offers. As mentioned earlier, you can run reports using standard reports with pre-built templates. These are included in all plans, and we have reports ranging from client info, case info, and billing info. If you would like something more specific, we recommend signing up with the optional module custom reports, which allows you to build your own report with your own criteria. Our calendar is a powerful tool to create appointments. You can create multiple calendar types, and once you create an appointment, it will show in your client's profile, the case profile, and also this calendar can be exported to your Outlook calendar, Google Calendar, and even your iPhone calendar. Have a Google Calendar or Outlook calendar and would rather use that? No problem. You can link either onto e-immigration and can simultaneously create appointments on e-immigration and directly on your Office 365 and Google Calendar. Have Office 365 online documents you wish to upload to the software and edit? We have that as well. Once uploaded to a client or case profile, you can edit within e-immigration and allow simultaneous collaboration amongst case workers.
These documents can be uploaded on a case-by-case -case basis, or use the document repository in the admin to store default documents. Once in the document repository, you can import documents from the repository onto any case or client profile. Our Timekeeper is a powerful tool that helps keep track of time. Once a time is recorded, you can send it to the time entries area of the client or case profile, where you can monitor overall time spent on that profile. Additionally, you can send time entries to the case profile and proceed to create expenses with them. With SMS messaging, you can send text messages to clients. You can then give them the option of replying back. Additionally, you can send passwordless intake forms via SMS notifications and can even send yourself reminders via text message to your phone. With the optional module conflict of interest check, you can have the software do a complete check of your main party and adverse party to avoid any possible conflict of interest. As you can see, the software is more than just a form software. It is a complete case and client management tool that can replace multiple softwares you use. Our pricing is the following. Plan A is $55 a month per user and allows one gigabyte of storage as well as one optional module. Plan B is $70 a month per user and allows two gigabytes of storage per user as well as four optional modules. And finally, Plan C is $85 a month per user and includes all optional modules and unlimited storage. You can email us at sales at serenade.com. You can also call us at 1-800-617-4202. Thank you for watching.